Greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, on this July 2025. What we have here is the Flywoo Firefly 18. Here we'll be doing an unboxing. I have cut the seal already. It is absolutely amazing how tiny this thing is. Here we have our prop guards. We have all kinds of screws and accessories. We have our by blades in here as well. Lots of goodies. And then, of course, we have, I don't know how, if the camera provides enough justice to just how tiny this thing is. In my hand, for comparison, how itty-bitty these motors are, this whole frame, it's absolutely stunning. All right, so let us go ahead and break the seal. Take this off. shrink wrap nice and careful and there we have it in its beauty look at these tiny tiny itty bitty motors so like I said this is the Flywoo 18 this is the 04 air unit we will be putting the Flywoo mod on here there it is the camera we have a all-in-one stack here. We will include the specifications down below. There's some give to this, it's really nice. This is all TPU. It comes with its adapter kit. And this is absolutely the cutest thing I have ever, ever seen. We have our motors here. Again, we'll put all of the script, the, uh, this, uh, what's it called? The specs on this in a description. Here we have our bottom. We put our batteries in here. I have these Tatooine batteries. And then we'll have the thousand milliamp hour ones as well. These are incredibly tiny. I have never owned something so tiny. All right, and then we have our right angle USB C. Going to plug into the board here. Let's get this set up in Betaflight. Here in the palm of my hand, that's it. That is the extent of the footprint on this. And I don't have very large hands. You have seen, we have put on the Flywoo lens adapter. So we have removed this that it comes with and have put on the lens adapter instead. In addition, I have gone ahead and snipped this off, this connector to put on this one. This one is from another uh, motherboard from a whoop, but the same connector. And the reason why I've done that is because I want to use these batteries that I already have and are brand new. There are a thousand milliamp batteries on their way, but these are just fine also. Yes, it might add a half a gram of weight, but it does allow no struggles or no tensions upon the leads. Um, and we just plug right in there. Shouldn't be any issue whatsoever. Also, it came with these by blades, which I will certainly try. By blades, in my experiences, are great for cruising and for long flight times. Uh, these are from the 75 uh, beta, uh, beta flight. And here is the designation for these tri-blades. So I'm going to actually try the tri-blades first for better freestyle and for this device, for this uh, Firefly 18. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when it came to binding the ER, ERLS, uh, usually I would simply press the button on the module put this into binding mode, 
and the ELRS would bind. However, th that did not work on, at least my experience, this did not work on that. In fact, what we needed to do was bind it through the Wi-Fi, and then it was able to bind to my radio. Here is our T uh, T16 Radio Master T16S. On the back, we have our module here, and it has Express LRS. So typically, I would just press this button, put this into binding mode, either through Betaflight or unplugging or plugging it in three times, and then it would bind. However, in this case, I had to utilize and use a binding phrase, which is the first time I've done that. You put this into Wi-Fi. Well, first of all, I had to log on using my phone to Wi-Fi on the TX here. And then I was able to put this into the Wi-Fi mode and then utilizing my phone to log on to this, I mean, onto the module, and then put the binding phrase in there. And it bound immediately. Like I said, it's my first time doing this, so I may not have explained it uh, as easily or as accurately as one who has a pro with ELRS. I have always been a crossfire person, but since it's only came with ELRS, uh, I am now learning how to, to use it. So this has to be bound using the Wi-Fi option rather than the physical option. At least that's what I found out after spending many hours working and working with this last night. A good fellow on Discord assisted me with how to uh, bind it using the Wi-Fi, and then it worked perfectly. We are using the micro module here of our ELRS. We are connected to the quad. And now we will show you that it arms. What a cute little thing. All right, there we go. Here is our Flywoo little demon. Things looking good. Oh, very spry, very nimble. Oh, almost didn't catch it there. Beautiful. Uh, I did put the tune that I have on the 75 Media Pro on here, just to tune. Left the filters as it were. I oh, seem to be fine. I did activate air mode. For some reason, it wasn't activated. Oh, that's fine. Pretty nimble little thing. Pretty neat. I've never flown something this small, really. In my many years of FPV flying, I've never, never flown something this, this nimble, this small, this tiny, this itty bitty tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Uh, I can't even put in millimeters how small is this itty bitty little craft is the flywoo flyer fly. I'm getting more uh, flight time out of this than the uh, than the meteor 75. It also doesn't have prop guards, so it helps. That's beautiful. We're almost getting three minutes out of here.
Nice. Doing lots of flips. Uh, doesn't like that prop wash for sure. We'll have to see whether we can tune that. It originally comes with by blades. But I put the tri blades on there. can't fly too far away from us. It is, however, a very tiny antenna. This is the RLS as well. Beautiful corn. Can't really go too far away from us. Maybe oh, I'll check that. All right, my final thoughts concerning this lovely, beautiful little fly woo. Love it. Um, the tune I put on it uh, is the same. The tune I put on it is the same I put on here. Um, it really feels good, at least to me. Same rates as well that I have. I'll put that at the end of the video, what those are. Uh, very easy to control for sure and uh, very agile and maneuverable decent flight time almost three minutes if you're just cruising around I imagine you get a lot longer if you have the by blades and I will try the by blades at a next video on it but um, it's a it's a cute little thing for sure it's very small very agile uh, very capable little tiny drone for its size 